What's going on guys, Kultimush back at it with the top 5 GPUs for the money. A lot of you guys have been requesting me to do this ever since the 300 series have come out. And yes, I'm a little late on this, but better late than never, so let's get right into this with number 5. With this month's list, we're just gonna jump right into the mid-level cards. Number 5 is the XFX Double Dissipation Radeon R9 283GB video card. So this GPU is $170 right now, $150 if you decide to use the $20 mail-in rebate, and you get a free copy of Dirt Rally, but I know most of you guys don't care about Dirt Rally, but hey, it's a free game. This is a very high quality 1080p entry level video card. It's not going to max out every game, of course. It's very cheap at $150. But what you can get out of this GP is you can play all the latest games at 1080p at reasonable settings and reasonable frame rates. A game like Witcher 3, you can play that game medium to high settings and still get 45 to 50 frames per second. And this XFX model has a decent cooler on it as well. So if you want to overclock it a little bit, you'll get even more performance out of it. So this is the kind of GPU I would recommend to a lot of high schoolers or college students. If you want a GPU that's cheap, but it's going to let you do some really high quality gaming, look at this GPU. GPU for $150, really good deal. Number four is the MSI GeForce GTX 960 two gigabyte video card. It's $195 and there's also a $20 mail-in rebate on it, so if you decide to use that, you're gonna get this GPU for around $175. The 960, when it initially came out, I really didn't think it was that good of a value, but over the last few months, it's been slowly but surely lowering in price. And right now, you also get a free copy of Batman Arkham Knight, which I know is a broken game, but probably by the fall or early 2016, that game will be working. And let's be honest, when Batman Arkham Knight does eventually work on PC. That's a game a lot of people are going to play. Don't lie, I know you're going to want to play it, and I know I'm going to want to play it too, and you get it for free with the 960. And there's your GPU like the 280. If you have a couple extra bucks to spend, again, if you're a high school student or a college student looking for an entry-level video card, this is a really good one, and you're getting a free copy of Batman Arkham Knight, $175. It doesn't break the bank too bad. You get a free game, you get a nice GPU, not a bad deal at all. Number three is the MSI Radeon R9 290. This is a four gigabyte video card. This also comes with a free copy of Dirt Rally and this GPU is around $290 and this GPU has a $30 mail-in rebate. So if you decide to use that, you'll get this GPU for around 260. So this is an awesome video card, whether you're gaming at 1080p or 1440p, you're gonna be maxing out a lot of the games at 1080p, Witcher 3, Dying Light, all the Battlefield games, all those games you're gonna be playing at 1080p, if not maxed out, very close to max out, 1080p, 60 frames per second, all that good stuff. And this MSI one also has a really good cool so you can overclock it and get even more performance out of it. And it's got four gigabytes of video buffer, which is really nice because a lot of games are taking advantage of that. Games like Grand Theft Auto V, which I know is a game that a lot of you guys want to play. And for $260, this is a very high quality 1080p or 1440p video card. This is a very nice GPU. Check it out. The MSI Radeon R9 290, great for 1080p gaming. Or if you do want to do some 1440p gaming as well, that's an option with this GPU as well. Number two is the EVGA GeForce GTX 970 4GB super clocked video card. This has the ACX cooler on it and this is really cheap right now. This GPU after the mail-in rebate is around $300, which I think is the cheapest I've ever seen a GTX 970 for. This also comes with a free copy of Batman Arkham Knight and this is an awesome 1080p video card. This is the exact GPU that I run in my main build and I'm maxing out a lot of games. Even a game like Witcher 3, I can play that game at the highest settings. All I have to do is turn hair works off and I'm getting a really damn good frame rate. I have a couple benchmarks with this GPU on my channel, so if you guys want to check that out, go ahead. But this is a really good video card that you want to put in your $800 builds, $900 builds, $1,000 builds. It goes really well in those mid to higher tier builds. And right now for around $300, around $320 before the mail-in rebate, this is a really good deal. And the ACX cooler will allow you to do pretty decent overclocking, so if the 970's core performance isn't enough for you, you can get even more out of it. Gaming at 1080p is ideal. If you do want to do some gaming at 1440p, you can do that as well, but at 1080p, this thing is an absolute beast. Finally, number one is the MSI R9 390. This is an 8 gigabyte video card. Now, there's been a war going on between the GTX 970 and the R9 390. Honestly, this is just a pissing contest between NVIDIA and AMD. From most benchmarks, the 390 does beat the GTX 970. Right now, the 390 is a tad more expensive. You're not getting a free game like you are with the GTX 970. So, weigh a couple of those things. Which brand do you have your allegiance set towards? And then, pick a GPU based off that. I'm not trying to get involved with this pissing war between AMD and NVIDIA. But the R9 390 is a great video card. Just like the 970, you're going to be playing a lot of the games at 1080p, near maxed out or maxed out in most cases, 60 frames per second. And since this one has an absurd 8 gigabytes of VRAM, you can also do really solid 1440p gaming as well. By most accounts, GTA 5 on this GPU at 1440p works really well. And for $330, this is just like the 970, you're going to want to put this in your mid to high tier builds. But really, number one and number two should be a tie. 
why I really don't want to get into this pissing contest between AMD and Nvidia, so I'll let you guys make that decision. By most accounts, the 390 does perform a little bit better than the 970, though, but like I said, you gotta weigh a couple of the options with the 970, you're getting a free copy of Batman Broken Knight, and it is a little bit cheaper. So thanks for watching this video, guys. As always, if you have a request for a future video, leave it in the comment section down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, leave them down below, and as always, guys, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.